Welcome back to Mike Ferry TV. Here we are in November. We hope that you're having a strong fourth quarter. I want to address today a little different approach to what we do. A couple years ago, I did a small seminar for a group of people, just a couple hours, and we addressed the challenges that good agents like you face. Now, remember, and I say this time and time again, if your goal is to do four, five, six deals a year, there's really very little that I'm going to say that's going to have a major impact on you. If your goal is to do 15, 20, 30, 50, 100, what I'm saying can have a major, major impact on you. By the way, you're going to kick out of this because of what we did a couple of weeks ago. I had one of the large internet providers write me a very, very strong letter saying, that's it. We're never going to recommend your company again. The good news is I didn't know the internet lead companies recommended me at all. I'm glad they did. I'm not unhappy they don't because we don't have anything in common. One of the challenges I face is the criticism that people have for common sense. Now, let's be honest. We've been working together all year long, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Here we are in November. And all we've taught you is common sense the entire time. So what are some of the challenges we face if we're going to build a strong business in 2014? I mean strong business. You're going to go way outside your comfort zone. You're going to do some things you never thought you could possibly do. You're going to attain some goals that you thought probably were unattainable until you put your mind to it and start working every single day. Some of the challenges you're going to face. I made a list of them, okay? The first, keeping your personal motivation at a high level at all times. That's a hard one. Nobody remains at this level all the time. We have great days. We have regular days. We have so not good days. Nobody's like pumped up all the time. Nobody can keep it up at that level all the time. Well, I hear people say, you got to be motivated and enthused all day long every day. It's impossible. It's just, it isn't going to happen. No, you don't have to have bad days. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be negative. But what we have to do is keep our motivation at a high level by always looking at that goal. What are we trying to attain out here to make that happen? Keep our personal motivation at a strong level at all times. Second challenge is not being distracted daily by the environment that you work in. As we both know, a major portion of all agents today are what we call home office agents. They work out of their homes. I really admire that. If you can work out of your home and be highly productive, it takes a lot of discipline to work out of your home. But I had a fellow named Rick from Colorado I coached several years ago. And I said, why do you work out of your home? Well, you know, I want to be close to my wife and I got two small kids and I don't want to get too far away. So I said, what's your biggest challenge working out of your home? Well, the kids, like five and three, just walk in my workspace every day and interrupt me. Hey, have you ever thought about locking the door? Just a thought, okay? What are the distractions that you have in your environment that keep you from being productive? The third challenge, keeping your mind open to growth and keeping your exposure at the highest level possible. How many Mike Ferry events did you attend in 2013? How many are you going to attend in 2014? But Mike, I've heard what you've said before. I've heard me say it before. And I've heard you say what you've said before. But you know what? Professional football teams are practicing the same plays every day. They don't stop practicing fundamentals of their business. They're exposed to the same ideas time and time again, all day long, every day. The fourth thing I wrote down, dealing with upcoming superstars that are vying for your position. <laughs> You're going to say, well, why is that a challenge? Well, here's what I want you to think about. People don't like people that are more competitive or better than they are. And I see, I'm just the opposite. I was playing golf a couple of days ago with some friends and the guy hit a good shot. He was my competitor. I was betting against him. And I went, wow, great shot. And he looked at me and said, do you mean that? I said, of course I mean it. You hit a great shot. I cheer for good shots. I cheer for my competitors. Why not? What am I supposed to say? You lucky bastard. How could you do that to me? I bet you can't do it again. I'll bet you a dollar you can't hit that shot twice. That's the wrong attitude to have. Watch, there are superstars vying for your position in your company, in your city, in your county as we speak. Watch, cheer them on. They probably will be out selling your listings all the time. Ha, watch the next challenge we face. 
knowing that her ego could be damaged as some of these people become better. Hey, I've always been number one. There's this new guy. You know, I don't like the guy very much. He's not that good a guy. Wait a minute, what kind of attitude is that? Watch, if the new guy is good and he spurs you on, you get better, keeping your ego in place. Uh, now watch the next challenge. Having your leadership and position power in the company challenged as other people catch on. You know the most interesting thing for me? I've never understood why all of our great coaching clients, a lot of you are great coaching clients, don't refer people to me all the time. And it took me years to figure out, you don't want competition in your company. You don't want competition in your community, in your town. You want it all to yourself. Remember a couple weeks ago I talked about the importance of not being greedy? Well, there's a good example, isn't it? Next thing I wrote down that can really be a challenge for you, the barrage of negative publicity that you attract as your business grows. Everybody wants to put down the winners. Everybody wants to challenge the winners. Everybody wants to critique the winners. Nobody's critiquing the bums. Nobody's critique, critiquing, the, critiquing the people that never do anything, for goodness sakes. You know, nobody puts down the ones that are failing. You have to get used to the negative barrage if you're going to build a large business. Ah, watch this. The next challenge you face, the mini slumps that take place as the year progresses. Okay, here we are now in November. You got basically two months to work or about 35 work days. A couple of great days, oh, a couple of bad days. A couple of good days, bad days. You got to learn to deal with the slumps that take place. They're there all the time and they're going to be there all the time. And then the last thing I wrote down that you have to learn to deal with in terms of a challenge, complacency. This market we have had in 2013 and 2014 has created more complacency than anything I've seen in years. By that I mean, all of a sudden, there's deals being done that weren't being done before. Our income is going up. <clears throat> Our production's going up. All of a sudden, we're starting to feel pretty cool, pretty hot, pretty egotistical. And then, of course, hey, Mike, you know, I've never done more than 15 deals. You have done 22 deals this year. I'm pretty hot stuff. Now my ego is getting out of control. 22 deals is not hot stuff. Okay, 22 deals is not hot stuff. You're not a loser, but you're certainly not a winner. But see, when you get complacent, you think what you're doing is more than acceptable. There's always somebody bigger. There's always somebody better. There's always somebody faster, somebody stronger, somebody richer, somebody smarter. Don't allow complacency to run your life. Well, if you look at the challenges, there's probably a hundred challenges you face. Let's go back through today's message, see if any of these challenges affect us. If they do, let's do something about it. Let's make the second half of November and that first two and a half weeks of December our best four and a half, six weeks we've ever had. Can I tell you why it's gonna work for you? Because your competition isn't working. You're probably the only one working in your office. Grind, do your job Monday through Friday, five days a week. Do it 45, 50 hours per week, and believe me, you're gonna have a great Christmas. So today's simple message, let's have a great Christmas by not allowing the challenges to run our life. If you take the challenges out of the picture, it's a great Christmas. Talk to you next week.